got a medallion on it. Yeah. Look at that. Welcome to Digging with Deej. Look who I got with me. It's Treasure Troll of Michigan. Hi, everybody. And we are back to the home side of tragedy. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to get up to almost 70, and it's November. So let's see what we can find. Mike, Mike got a signal before we even got in the field. I'm glad I got my mask on. It's a big chunk of metal. Yeah. Okay. It's a hoe. It's a very old hoe. Look at that. Very cool. <laughs> very cool. And it's all metal. Well, that is a great find to start our hunt. Mike says he's got a nickel. Oh, that's in good shape. Look at that. Excellent shape. Wow. Nineteen oh six. Very cool, congratulations. There's a first. Yay, first coin. Mike's over there. And I got a signal jumping from 65 to 72. And I see something. I don't know if it's a coin or a button. Here comes Mike. Let's see what we have. I'll let you hold it before I pull it out, okay? That looks definitely like... Come on, crack the video. Miss Deej found what definitely looks like a button. Now, Mike was the first one to find a button here. This is my first button here, I think. So let's reveal it. You ready? Yes, ma'am. It's definitely a button. It's a button. It's got writing on it, too. Yay! And it's, it's a beautiful button. got a shank. Look at that. I'm happy with that. I've been lucky. All the buttons I've found so far, I think all of them have had its shanks. Yeah. Can you see any of the writing on it? No, ma'am. I do not see any of the writing I'm on it. I'm going to have to get look at it with my magnifying glass. But that definitely... Cool button. Is a button. It's really smooth. Why yeah. is it so smooth? It's a convex... It's not a tomback, though. It's no. it's a regular shank button. I don't think we're old enough to have tombacks up here. I don't know. Have you ever found I one? I found one down in Monroe. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It was Sweet. Partial, but it was still a tomback. Yep. There's still relics in here. Chris has got something. It's definitely a smooshed musket ball. Oh, wow. Well, then maybe mine isn't a musket ball. It's it's only about a half to three quarters of an yeah, maybe a half an inch in diameter. Um, there's... But it's lead. Yeah, there's probably close to a hundred different sizes of musket balls. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I've gotten them every, uh, as high as uh, 
weight was be a 70 millimeter. Oh, wow. All the way down to a 20 mil. Oh, wow. So maybe yeah. mine is. Okay. But yep, that's definitely a musket ball. Cool. Another relic. Something. Okay, I got a 60 65. It was shallow. It's iron. I don't know what it is. <sighs> Trying to get it out. Whatever it is. It's a weird shape, whatever it is. It's a buckle that's been bent over, I think. Pretty sure that's what it is. Let me clean it up and I'll get back to you. That's what it is. A buckle that's been bent over. A big buckle. Probably for plow horses. This is probably a girth buckle. Okay, I had a 66 signal. It was, I was chasing it all over the place. And this is it. Thought it was a button at first, now I'm thinking maybe it's a buckle. I don't know, it's really rusty, whatever it is. I'm thinking it's a buckle. It's just all rusted. It probably had, had a brass frame and then uh, an iron tongue on it. So let me clean this up, see if I can get any more off of it. Okay, it's a brass buckle with an iron tongue. That's lots of barnacles on it. I have to soak it. Maybe a little bit of kids. But it's definitely brass with an iron tongue. Very cool. The relics are still here. Okay. 66, 71, 69. Two to four inches. in that clump. Huh. Where is it? Oh. Another buckle. Horse tap. Horse tack. It's a heavier one than the so most of them I found haven't been this heavy. Very cool. Very cool. And I got horse tack or something. I don't know. Not sure what that is. At first I thought it was a battery thing, but there's no holes in it. You know? So, it's something horse tack related, farming related. Taking a break. That's why I brought a bucket, so I had a bucket to sit on. I cannot find my stool that part-time detector sent me. I used it last year. We're both plugging away still. Lots of targets here still. See, Mike? How about... I've always been looking for a barn site with this house. I've never found one, maybe. He's been back there for a little bit. He might have found a hot spot. Maybe he finally found the barn. Fine. Oh my gosh, you found a bottle stopper. Look at that. And it's got pretties on the edges. Look at that. Let me hold it up against you here. See the little knobs? Very cool. Congratulations. Unfortunately, she's broken, but she's still there. She's still there. You know what she is. So Sitting right up on top of the ground. Yep, I'm sure. Look at the bubbles. 
Oh, oh yeah, this is an old site. We're guesstimating between 1850 and 1870. Found some beautiful china. How do you like that? Mama's gone detecting. There's one side. And there's the other side. Double sided. Hoo hoo. I made a big mess here. Thank God this isn't somebody's yard. I had the rivet here. And then I started swinging again after I filled in the hole and I got another signal. I kept digging and digging and digging. Look what I. And I dug. I had to go underneath the corn stalks. Look at that. You want to do the honors? Oh, for you. I'm wore out. Oh, that is a beautiful 1896. Woohoo! I'll take her. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, it's good. It's still not a green one. I want a green one. <laughs> but it's good. I'm happy with it. Gosh, it's it warmed up and the signals just shut off again. That is absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> For a farm field Indian, that is beautiful. Wow. Well, he doesn't put a lot on this field. Very little. He might do manure, and I think that's it. So... I mean, you can see how rich the soil is here. I mean, it's so easy to dig here. I have dug in some cornfields that I almost can't get my shovel in. It's like clay. Mm -hmm. Like the 1880 permission, a lot of that's clay. So this is beautiful to dig in. Well, that that made my day right there. There you go. Found some cool relics. Found a, found a button. My first button here. And now I found a... Another Indian head. So that's two Indians that have come out of here. I forget what my other one was. Yeah, 1896. I think my other one was 1898 and it had a hole in it. But it was not, it's not at the top of the head. It's like at the side of the coin. It's weird. Time for a lunch break. He's going back to the truck to get his lunch and come back. And I'm having my power drink. Okay, I just got an Indian over there. And now I'm right over here, maybe eight feet away. And I got another Indian signal. So let me get you a steady set. 60. And that's what it was. Some kind of a hook on a, I don't know what that thing is, but that's about how big it is. Interesting. Hey, I had a very scratchy 65 to 70 horse hack, and I have no idea what this thing is. Have no idea what that thing is. Weird. It's like metal cut out all over the place. Very strange. Up. He's got something. We're walking back to the car. Sun's going down. And a medallion on it. Yep. Look at that. Oh, nice. It's like that. a copper medallion or something. Yeah. Look at that. A toothbrush out. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Looks old. It looks like it's been yeah. in the ground for a while. It's definitely been in the ground for a while. I can't see if it says anything on it. Good job. Whoa, look at that. On the way back to the Does it have, and it's got metal on the ends, too. Yeah. Very cool. Looks like those one of those that looked like it had like a wooden log, like twig yeah. or something. That is cool. Congratulations. That is definitely going to go on the shelf. As mm -hmm. soon as it's cleaned up. Last yeah. haul before the car.
Didn't we say that two holes ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is an army guide shirt. Half of it. There we go. There's the back side of it. And there's the front side of it. Final relic of the day. So we've been here a little over six hours. So here's Mike's finds. I think I found one of those once before too. A hook thing, spoon bowl, iron buckle, beautiful pocket knife. Bottle stopper with bubbles in it. Uh, two musket balls, a piece of a crotal bell, hose bracket. His first signal was a hoe. Then he's got, I'm not sure what that is, but it, it might have mica in it. It went off on the detector at about a 76. Oh wow, so it's melted metal or something really light he's got a bullet like the one i dug last my last hunt then he's got a 1976 memorial and what year was the v nickel 1906 1906 v nickel harvest hunt we got all kinds of iron cast iron this looks like the top lip to a pot belly stove that doohickey still have no idea it looks like something that somebody cut a piece of metal and somebody cut a bunch of shapes out of it cookie cutter there were square nails in almost every hole I dug. Um, brass ring. Heavy duty horse tack. Beautiful shards of china. That one's red and white on both sides. This one has a little bit of blue on it. Assorted ammo. Melted lead. Uh rivet with a teeny bit of animal in it pretty flat button my first flat button on this site little baby D buckle with an iron tongue on it and the find of the day 1896 Indian head penny and a sinker an acorn shaped sinker weird and that was it. Tomorrow, Mike is bringing back with him who? Jared. Jared. Jared Swoop, buddy of mine from uh, the pipe trades. Yep. And I think tomorrow I'm going to use my T2. Today I used the Simplex. So, fun hunt. We keep finding more relics. We're trying to hit it as much as we can before they plow it. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate your comments. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, commenting, and sharing. Your support helps my channel grow.